Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you all for coming out on this gorgeous Friday, and happy Flag Day. Um, as the Mayor's Chief of Staff, I am honored to be hosting this year's United States Flag Day ceremony, so welcome. Unfortunately, this morning, the Mayor is at his father's funeral service, uh, a World War II veteran who decided to enlist in the U.S. Navy when he was only 17 years old. Um, so you might be asking yourself why we're still having this today. Uh, but I can tell you, I, you know, I, I asked the mayor if he wanted me to cancel the Flag Day ceremony uh, planned and scheduled for today, but he insisted that his father would not have accepted putting himself before a celebration of his country and his flag. So today's ceremony uh, is dedicated to Mr. Bill Carpenter, Sr., a member of our nation's greatest generation. If it's, if it's hard for you all to take me seriously with this blazer on, just let me know and I'll remove it. For the record, I'm wearing socks with Abe Lincoln on them as well. They're there. All right, I'm happy to uh, get the program started. Uh, I'll introduce the Brockton High School Concert Choir under the direction of Matt Cunningham, who will perform our national anthem as we raise our nation's flag. Thank you. That was great. Uh, up next, I'd like to introduce Mr. George Cataldo, our Silver Fox, our World War II veteran, to recite our Pledge of Allegiance. Stan, please. I just want to mention that when you play the Star Spaniel Banner, that you respect that flag that's over your head that's keeping us free. So you put your right hand over your heart. The front row did, back row did, fellow back there kept his hat on. Let's remember that this flag has given us freedom to come here, to go to the beach, to have fun, good fun. We've got to respect it. It's been around a long time. It's given us freedom for many years. That whole row back there has got their right hand over their heart. It looks great, and it's, it's the way it should be. You love that flag because of what it's giving us. And I loved it for many, many years. I don't want to tell you how old I am, but it's over five. God bless you. Let's say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You're a great group. We're going to depend on you, and I know I am. The girls in the chorus in the back and all you folks are the country's future. Remember that. You are the country's future. And I'm going to have to respect you from now till I leave this earth. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. 
Thank you, George, and thank you for your service. Uh, up next, I'd like to call up Pastor Lou Lemieux, who will lead us in with uh, invocation. How are you all doing today? Good. Good. It's good to be here. Thanks for all of you coming out. Uh, I, I love the groups that are here. My daughter goes to Broughton High, so I appreciate that. My son goes to Plouffe, so I appreciate you guys. Uh, and my younger daughter loves the Arnone Playground, so right on with you guys as well. <laughs> if you could join me in inviting the presence of God. Psalm 9, 1 through 2 says, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I'll recount all of your wonderful deeds. I'll be glad and exalt in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. Lord, we're here today to honor this flag that has flown over this city in times of war, in times of peace, in times of prosperity, in times of difficulty, and still flies over this city today. Lord, we recount your wonderful deeds for this city. The city which is founded on industry and progress and education. We thank you that you have always watched over this city, you have blessed this city, and continue to bless this city. Lord, we thank you for those who have sacrificed for this flag, and we honor that today. And we pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Now, if we could hear from the BHS Concert Choir for our first song selection, God Bless America. Up next, a man who really doesn't need an introduction, a great American, fine taxpayer, <laughs> U.S. Navy veteran and retired Navy SEAL Tony O'Brien is here to say a few words, and if I recall a, past, a few past uh, visits and remarks he's made for our Flag Day ceremonies, you've always learned one or two things about our flag, so I introduce you to Tony O'Brien. Thanks, Nick. Thank you, Thanks, guys. I'll, uh, I'll keep it short. And um, thank you, everybody, for coming out today. What a great job by the, uh, the concert choir. Always doing a great job. Um, absolutely. You can't clap for them enough. Nice. Good job, guys. Really, really good job. Um, uh, our, our, our hearts and thoughts go out, especially to uh, the Mayor Carpenter's family, um, for, his, uh, for his dad, a uh, proud World War II veteran. And that's so much a part of what, what we're here for today, which is the patriotism that is uh, epitomized by, by service, like serving your country in a time of war, just like Mr. Cataldo, 93-year-old World War II veteran, and, and still fighting, still fighting. Don't cross this guy. Love him. Fabulous. Calling you out. I think there was one of you out there, one of you out there didn't have your hand on your heart. I think they were adjusting something, and uh, Mr. Cataldo, he saw that. He saw that. That was good, sir. Um, uh, and uh, Nick, great job with your, your tie and jacket today. 
I, I don't think we needed to know about the socks. That was okay. Abraham Lincoln. Let's see the socks. Abraham Lincoln socks. There they are. Yep. I, I had to confirm that. I, uh, I got to wear my George Washington socks next year, I guess. Um, thank you so much to everybody for, for what you do here in our great city of champions, especially for our folks that are working in community, community service and in public service. Flag Day is patriotism. If you, if you love freedom and you love your country, you're a patriot. We're blessed to live in freedom and in a free country. With so many freedoms to do, say, and be, and yes, sing, anything we want. How awesome is that? I've asked this question before with this group, especially with the kids, and I ask how many countries are there on the planet? There's about 190, believe it or not, it changes every now and then, kind of interesting thing. 190 countries. I've been to 35 of them, uh, not too many of them on vacation. And in many of those countries, they don't have the same freedoms. And especially with a great group like we have here today, a lot of you know that personally. That's important. Those folks that don't have their freedoms, we support their continuing fights, and they are in our prayers. And patriotism is also service, and not just in uniform. This is clothing right here. Other folks here in uniform, this is clothing. Patriotism is inside. It's in your heart. It's not a uniform. A country is nothing without its states, and states are nothing without its communities, like our beloved Brockton, where I too was raised. Service to community is patriotism. Your teachers, I love you teachers. I got, I got, a, I got a five and a seven year old, and by the way, pastor, I, where, where's the pastor? I love pit playgrounds too. I got a five and a seven year old. Playgrounds all day. Um, but love you, love you teachers and your service to our communities. There's a lot of other things you could be doing. This service is, is some of the most important service that's going on in America, and it truly epitomizes patriotism, and I thank you for your service. Yeah, go ahead, that's an applause line, sure. You kidding me? All day. And while we're on the schools, Director Matt and your music program, world renowned, literally, seriously, um, the music program, and yeah. <clears throat> and listen, don't, 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 don't listen to the, the, the fake tough guys out there that don't appreciate music. Everybody appreci appreciates music. They might do it in the shower, they might do it in the car. They appreciate it, trust me, we all love music. Um, and on, especially on a day like today when you're celebrating patriotism, uh, it's a really, really big deal. Please, please, please. We need to always count our blessings. We need to always take care of each other. Thank you again for your service. Thank you for your patriotism. Happy Flag Day, Brockton, and God bless America. At this time, I'd like to issue a proclamation designating today United States Flag Day in the city of Brockton. It reads, whereas 243 years ago a small band of patriots declared independence, proclaiming in one voice that we are free to determine our own destiny and carry out the work of self-governance. Driven by their unyielding spirit and drawing inspiration from the stars and stripes, a string of 13 colonies later expanded to become a united 50 states. Throughout our history, the American flag has steadfastly served as an emblem of this great experiment in democracy. Whereas, with hands, and over, with hands over hearts, Americans of all backgrounds and beliefs have long saluted old glory and honored its legacy, our flag persists as a powerful representation of freedom and opportunity. Waving high above Capitol buildings and courthouses, 
military bases and embassies across the globe and on the distant surface of the moon, it calls on each of us to remember our obligations to the Republic for which it stands and to carry forward the unwavering optimism that defines us. Whereas the American flag invokes pride in our citizens and hope in those who come to our shores in search of a brighter tomorrow. In recognition of the way it has embodied our ideals and sustained our nation, let us pay tribute to the Star Spangled Banner and, continu and continue striving to create a more perfect and indivisible union with liberty and justice for all. Now, therefore, be it resolved, Mayor Bill Carpenter, as Mayor of the City of Brockton, does hereby proclaim June 14, 2019 as United States Flag Day in the City of Brockton. And I'd like to present this proclamation to Mr. George Cataldo, our famous, well-recognized World War II veteran here today. I would regret not taking this opportunity to add my own remarks as I fill in for the mayor today. The American dream is alive and well, and it certainly is here in Brockton. When I think of America, I think of freedom and I think of opportunity. Everyone wants to come here for those two things. Well, we have a symbol for that, and it's our flag. It's an instrument of peace. We should learn what it means. We should understand what it means, because it's important. The concept of America, the melting pot, was based on the idea that we should unite only under one flag, rather than clash with many over superiority. While each of us may come from very different walks of life, we all unite under one flag that represents the ideals of one great nation, the ideals we all came here for. We are the envy of the world. That's the great thing about this country, and that's the great thing about this flag. We are all Americans. And with that, this takes us to our final song selection by the concert choir, Grand Ole Flag. You're a Grand Ole Flag, you're a high-flying flag, and forever in peace may you wave. You're the emblem of the land I love, the home of the free and the brave. Every heart beats true neath the red, white, and blue, where there's never a boast or brag. But should all acquaintance be forgot, keep your eye on the grand old flag. You're a grand old flag, you're a high-flying flag, and forever in peace may you wave. You're the emblem of the land I love, the home of the free and the brave. Every heart beats true neath the red, white, and blue, where there's never a boast or brag. But should all acquaintance be forgot, keep your eye on the grand old flag. Keep your eye on the grand old flag. Keep your eye on the grand old flag. This will conclude our program. I hope the kids enjoy getting out of class today. I know it must be exciting. Can we have a clap for getting out of class today? America. All right, this concludes our program. I'd just like to thank our keynote speaker, Mr. Tony O'Brien, our Brockton High School Concert Choir with Matt Cunningham. Thank you, guys. And our students. So thank you all for coming, and God bless America. <laughs>